es bambinita. Bambini, bambini. I'm a little chora, it's bambini. Come let's learn in various fun way. It's an educational TV show. Okay, so now we have the last round for the qualifying stage of the Bambini Smart Kids Quiz. And then I'm so excited. It's been awesome since day one. And then we can't do this without acknowledging those who set the question for the kids, the contestants, let me mention it. So we have Moses Avako, also known as um, Action Man of STEM, that's STEM and SHS coordinator. Ladade Kutupon Municipal Education Director of Mathematics. And we also have Carmichael Tretu, that is our English language tutor. Also, Betty Bua, Greater Accra Regional STEM STEM Coordinator and Prince. Oh, wow, they've been doing so well for us and we really appreciate them. Not to mention our supporters. We have Kate's place. They gave us this wonderful place. As you can see, we've been hosting this since day one at Kate's place. They also have the event house known as Legendary um, Capital Event, whom your legendary programs you can you can never forget. And then we have Kate's place, satisfaction of your utmost priority. They've been awesome. So thanks much. Kiss please. You can locate them at Dansoman. And also for Cheesy Pizza, you can locate them at Spinters, Ashama, Kaswa, Hacho, and even Dansoman as we are right now. Cheesy Pizza, your pizza, your way. Okay, so still about our Bambini Smart Kids Quiz. Um, with the next set, we still have the JHS people so without wasting much time let's call on elijah appear of golden crown school so give it up for him as he step here please give it up give it up <laughs> then we have akosia and chua aj of greater grace christ academy christian academy sorry give it up for her please <laughs> so quickly sanitize your hands So Elijah, Apia, how do you feel? Your expectations so far? Like before we started with expectations? I knew I was going to qualify. You knew you were going to qualify. So what about now? I'll, I'll qualify. You'll qualify. So okay, he knew you qualify and he's going to qualify. This is English and I like that. What about Akosia? How do you feel? I feel excited. We're excited. Hey, never heard that before. Being excited to take a quiz. And I like that. We'll start with English language. You choose from the alternatives, letter A to C, to the one that best explains the underlying groups of words. So listen to number one carefully with the possible answers. A was resolved amicably. B came to a deadlock. C escalated despite the effort made now the question the authorities quickly called a meeting to nip the misunderstanding in the bud this means that the misunderstanding now listen to the words being underlined to nip the misunderstanding in the bud akosia a a and that's correct so number two the possible answers we have a Failed to as impress the people. B. Completely impressed everybody. C. Confused all the people. Now the question. The listeners were swept off their feet by the politicians' arguments. This means that the swept off their feet is being underlined. Akosia had it. C. C. And that is wrong. Elijah. B. B. And that is correct. So three with the possible answers. We have A, finally granted. B, totally ignored. C, not believed. Now the question. The plea of the accused fell on deaf ears. This means that the plea was fell on deaf ears as underlined. Of course you had it. B. B, and that is correct. 
So with the possible answers, A, accept your remarks with exception. B, object strongly to your remarks. C, doubt to your remarks. Now the question. I take great exception to your remarks. This means I. I take great exception to your remarks as being underlined. Elijah had that. B, and that is correct. So the last one for English language, and uh, we have the possible answers. Listen attentively, and that is very important. A, ordinary members. B, recognized members. C, members who had been promoted. Now the question. She addressed the rank and file members of the union. This means that she spoke to rank and file members is being underlined. Akosia. B. That is wrong, Elijah. And that is correct. Ordinary members. Moving on to math. Math came so quickly. I know anytime we get to math, I have to ask you questions. Because we believe math is not for the weak, but for the strong. So, let me start with the lady, Akosia. Um, math, math says is the next. How do you feel about that? Are you ready for that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, so no questions to ask again. Elijah, are you also sure about mathematics being the next? Yes. And are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So, number one with the possible answers. A, six. B, eight. C, 12. Now the question. How many faces has a keyboard? Hey. Akosia. Six. And that is correct. It is six. Three with the possible answers. We have A3, B, C, and um, C270. Now the question. The least common multiple LCM into bracket of 16, 30, and 36 is. Akosia. C. And that is correct. That is 270. So moving to 4 with the possible answers. We have A, negative 3. B, negative 7. C, negative 11. Now the question. Simplify negative 27 plus 18 minus into bracket 10 minus 14. So with that, the bracket is closed. So close it. Minus into bracket negative two. Elijah. B negative seven. That is wrong, Elijah. I could see A. And that is correct. It is negative three. So last one for mathematics. Listen attentively. A twenty-two. Okay, let me mention them in figures. It has to do with money. 22 Ghana cities, 50 pesos. So that is 22.50. So I'll mention them in figures so you put them in the numbers yourself. B, 23.50. That is uh, 23 Ghana cities, 50 pesos. C, 27 Ghana cities, 50 pesos. So we have the question. Find the total cost of 25 pence and 75 books if each pen cost 0 0.20 pesos and each book costs 0 0.30 pesos what is the answer time is being taken and that's great meaning you are really calculating and as i expect the best from you both because we are c and that is correct. So we are done with maths. Moving on to integrated science. So with the possible answers, without wasting much time, we have A, candela, B, degree Celsius, and C, Kelvin. Now the question, the SI unit of temperature is Akosia. Kelvin. And that is correct. Kelvin, it is. Number two with the possible answers, we have A, gas in gas mixture. B, liquid in liquid mixture. And C, solid in liquid mixture. Now the question. 
Air is an example of Elijah. A. A, and that is correct. Gas in gas. Okay, so moving on to number two, listen attentively. We have A, I and I, I only. B, I and I, I, I only. C, I, 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 and I, I, I. A, I and I, I only. B, I, and I, I, I only. C, I, 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 and I, I, I. Now, the question. Which of the following activities are involved in the wearing of tilapia? I, feeding of fish. I, I, pond stocking. I, 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 pest control. Elijah. A. That is wrong, Elijah. Akosia. C. C, and that is correct. It is I, 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 and I, I, I. Listen to the possible answers. A. Horizon. People say horizon. B. Litha. C. Regulith. A. Horizon. B. Litha. C. Regulith. Now the question. Each layer of soil profile is known as Akosia. Horizon. And that is correct. Number five with the possible answers. A. Current flows from the P type to the N type. B. No current flows from the P type to the N type. And C. Conduction of current occurs. Now the question. When the P to N junction of a trans C <laughs> transistor is reversed by yes. Elijah. B. That's wrong. A. And that is correct. So we are done with integrated science. So the last one is social studies. Number one is possible answers. Man and his surroundings. B. Animals and non-living things. C. Vegetation and non-living things. The question. The environment can best be described as... Akosia. A. And that is correct. So number three with the possible answers we have, listen attentively. A. Social and physical environment are interdependent. B. Physical environment is independent of the social environment. C. Physical environment is never affected by the social environment. Now the question. Which of the following statements is true? Akosia. A. A, and that is correct. Number four with the possible answers, we have A, waste management, B, air pollution, C, deforestation. Now the question. A major environmental problem facing municipal and metropolitan assemblies in Ghana is Elijah. Waste A. A, and that is correct. Waste management. So last one for this whole quiz. We have the possible answers for number five. A, good nutrition. B, sexuality. And C, good marriage. Adolescent reproductive health aims at providing education on. Akosia. B. B, and that is correct, sexuality. So we are done for the quiz. Let's find out how Elijah and Akosia did in the final round. Happy! Yay! Well, that was an exciting stage, or let me say section. I really enjoyed it. So let's move to the primary stage. Primary, primary stage. Yes, so let me introduce my contestants. Let's welcome Jeremiah Mawunyo. And he is a student of St. Martin. Okay, please clap for him. Oh, gentleman, that's nice. Okay, Princess Boatin. Please clap for her. She's a student of the Youngsters International School. 
Okay, so please, you know the rules. You have to sanitize your hands before you touch anything. A lady and a gentleman. <coughs> Hello, princess. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Jeremiah, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, you're doing great. What do you have to tell princess? I'm going to win. Wow. The gentleman says he's going to win. Okay, princess. Princess, what do you have to tell Jeremiah? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> wow. That's scary, you know. <laughs> so, we are, uh, our first section, as usual, would be English. Yes. And with this one, you have to find, okay, let me read for you. Provide the most appropriate, comparative, and superlative to the following adjectives okay so with english language the possible answers first a more scary most scariest a more scary most scariest b scare scarest c scarier scariest and the word is scary yes a. Oh, come on. It's wrong. But Jeremiah. Scarier, scariest. And that's correct. We move to the next one. Question two. A. More far. Most far. B. Father. Farthest. Father. Farthest. C. More feather most furthest and the question and the word is far Ooh, the word is far okay okay jeremiah father farthest and that's correct a calmer calmest b more calm most calmest c much calm very calmer three the word is calm the word is calm. Hey. Jeremiah? Calma, calmist. And that's correct. <laughs> Question four possible answers. A. More faster. Most fastest. B. Faster. Most fastest. C. Faster. Fastest. And. <laughs> The word for question four is fast. The word for question four is fast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Princess. E. No. Mm. Jeremiah. Faster, fastest. And that's correct. <laughs> question five possible answers. A. More hairy. Very hairy. B. Hairier. Hairiest. C. More hairier. Most hairiest. And the word for question five is hairy. Jeremiah? Hairier, hairiest. And that's correct. So we are moving to the next set, which is religious and moral education. Number one possible answers A. Latu. Latu. Okay. B. Mahavira. C. Moses. And the question. Dash is the founder of Jainism. Ooh. Jeremiah. B. And that's correct. How come you have a confused face? Wow. You weren't sure. I wasn't sure. I did a try your luck. Princess. Princess. Yes. Okay. Try your luck. So he has tried his luck and a far manner. Wow. A. Yes. B. No. C. None. The question. Did Moses establish a religion? Jeremiah? No. And that's correct. 
Okay, we move to question three possible answers. A, Islam. B, Christian. C, Shintoism. <laughs> Which of these religions originated from Palestine? Jeremiah. Shintoism. No. Islamic. And that's correct, Islam. <laughs> the last one for religious and moral education. A, Michael. B, Gabriel or Gabriel. <laughs> C, Azraphil or Azraphile. The question, what is the name of the angel that visited Zachariah and the Virgin Mary? Jeremiah? Gabriel. And that's correct. Okay, we move to the next set, mathematics. Ready? A, 54. B, 10. C, 45. A wife is 10 years younger than the husband. If the husband is 55 years old, how old is the wife? A, Wow, Jeremiah. 45. And that's correct. A. 5 is to 6. A. 5 is to 6. Or let me say 5 ratio 6. The 5, the, yeah. So 5, 6. Okay. B. 3. 25, ratio 25, okay. C, 6 and 5. The question, express and simplify this as a ratio 30 men to 25 women. Express and simplify this as a ratio 30 men to 25. Princess? C. And that's correct. Question three, possible answers. A, 366. B, 365. C, 365 and a half. The question, there are dash days in ordinary year. Jeremiah? 365. Wow, that's correct. The last one for mathematics. A, odd. B, prime. C, composite. Two, you can write it. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen are dash numbers. Jeremiah? Prime. And that's correct. Please clap for them. The final round. Are you ready? The possible answers for integrated signs. Question one. A, plasmodium. B, anopholis. C, bacteria. The question. Dash is the parasite that causes malaria. Jeremiah? Anopheles. And that's correct. That's correct. A, 25. B, 50. C, 10. The question for integrated science question two. A decade is a period of dash years. A. <laughs> Take your time. Okay, the answer, Jeremiah. Ten. And that's correct. We move to question four possible answers. A, anemometer. B, thermometer. C, hydrometer. The question. The instrument used in measuring the temperature of a body is called... Princess. Thermometer. And that's correct. Please clap. The final one 
for integrated signs. A. Joule. B. Newton. C. Kilogram. The question. The standard U. The question. The standard unit for measuring energy is A. B. And that's correct. Was it try and laugh again? <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's get our score. This is where we end um, the primary first stage. Okay. Happy! Today's long journey of the quiz competition has finally come to an end. And, you know, we don't end this competition without interrogating with some of our members that qualified and those that were unable to qualify with their parents. So, I have here with me able parents and one qualifier. Let me ask of their feelings. Hello, sweethearts. What's your name? Jeremiah. What's your full name? Jeremiah Maunyo. Who is this woman to you? She's my mother. Okay, mommy, please, what made you bring your son to this quiz competition? Jeremiah yeah, is uh, a very uh, smart boy. He's always looking for new ways to challenge himself, push himself. So we chanced on this on uh, YouTube, and then he showed, he expressed a desire to take part, and that was how the journey started. Wow, that is so great. Jeremy, what inspired you to be here? Because I was seeing the way you were asking the questions and I was so proud of you myself. Um, my academic excellence. Thanks since Cage you have been first. Wow. Yes. Mommy, what do you have to say to any parents watching us right now? It's just an advice. I think there's a, a good show. It's, it's very appealing to kids. And as it is, smart kids, all our children are smart, I guess. I would urge all parents any time, or that would be probably next year, when they see the advert, they should just encourage their children, they should bring their kids, even if they do not win. It's not all about winning, but at least the fact that they get to interact and learn from each other, that's fine. It's Bambinita. Okay, so we come to the end of the qualifying stage. Some of these people you see here are our quarter finalists. So next week, we are just going to see who makes it to the finals. So please urge all of you to be on your seat every Saturday to watch this smart case do their own thing right on the Bambini Smart Case Quiz. And I've been your Christmas stress, Rudy Safako, Amazado. You can call me Rudy, and that's so lovely. And, and yes, that's so lovely. My name is Helena Quist, and I was the co host and a Christmas stress as well. It was fun having these kids, and I wish they all made it to the quarterfinals, but we, we, we just have to get one winner. Okay. So. Yeah. And you know, Bambini Smart Kids Quiz competition is making education fun, or let me say, learning fun. So please catch us same time yeah. next week for the quarter finals again 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 subscribe to our youtube channels and comment like and view the episodes you missed so that you can have that fun and educate yourself as well follow us on all social media platforms instagram facebook twitter everywhere you go is the bambini show and we say bye bye everyone let's say bye to people watching <laughs>